Here is a problem one of our viewers ran into when laying out and building a set of winder stairs. And the problem they were having was that they weren't locating the pivot point in the correct spots. And the pivot point in this example here would be right here. And if I move the pivot point out six inches, we're going to end up with something that looks like this. Let's go ahead and take a look at where I relocated the pivot point to. And of course, this example here is going to be six inches longer in this direction here. So we're going to be adding this section and creating a rectangle here instead of a square for our winder steps. And of course, the video wouldn't be complete if I didn't provide you with an example of what the individual was having a problem with. They went ahead and moved this back six inches without repositioning this section of the stairway. And that would end up looking something like this. We would end up with an odd shaped step here and here. And something like this probably isn't going to pass your local building inspections. But we can fix it by simply moving this part of the stairway back six inches or whatever measurement we're going to be using to create a section of the stairway that will be approved by our local building codes. And if I wanted to create a square landing here instead of a rectangular shape, then all I would need to do would be to extend this over another six inches. And for those of you who are not that familiar with the winder building codes, I do have more information on that at our website. Because this section here and the walk line is going to be more important than the outside perimeter of the winder steps.